Hello YouTube, this is a Sussy5. Uh, I'm fixing to be going to Hawaii. Uh, tomorrow I go to Houston, and then the next day I'm on my way to Hawaii. Thought I'd show you what I'm going to be having on my person. I got a new phone, the iPhone 11 Pro, with an auto box. And I thought instead of filming with this, <coughs> for this video, I'll just show it in the video so people can see it. And I somehow turned on the um, flashlight. And I don't know how I did that. Let's see. There we go. But yeah, I got the new phone. I got my 511 wallet, which looks really rugged, but not too tactical. And I have my Seiko SKX007, which will be my wallet for this trip. I mean, my phone, <laughs> my watch for this trip. And now I'm going to show you what's in my uh, everyday carry bag, or my travel bag, or just my pack in general. This pack is set up for, um, well, urban environments, I guess you can say. You got, do you know the way, my butter? Or, oh, follow me, my butter. I know the way. I know, I misread that, but, um... Yeah, this is my tech survival kit. It uh, has just about everything I need for my iPhone and any other device that I may or may not have on me. I'm going to open All it right. up. This is my kit. I'm going to have to take this out because it has a lithium battery in it. And I hear that TSA don't like those. <coughs> don't know for a fact, but going to go ahead and take that out. I got my backup headphones, which um, have the lightning... Um, adapter to them. I got my Bluetooth noise cancellating headphones. These were relatively expensive and um, I have mixed feelings about them. I'll do a separate review on them. They work, but they're not super quiet in the noise cancellating uh, aspect of it. And they have their advantages and disadvantages. So I'll talk about that in the review, but let's just say that um, um, if you're going for complete silence, only hearing your thoughts and nothing else, this isn't necessarily it. But it does have its advantages. Um, I have right here a buckle battery bank. And uh, I got that for spending X amount of money at buckle with my credit card. I got a car charger, which probably won't come in handy because won't be having a vehicle. I have uh, my uh, lightning cable um, uh, connection, or lightning cable in general. And then I have um, a um, micro USB cable for the um, headphones. I got a um, Nairobi Nebo. I got a Nebo um, flashlight. This is uh, just a... Um, flashlight. I don't know if it has, uh, yeah, you can dim it down. But <clears throat> the reason why I have this flashlight, first off, it came with a knife that sucked. This was one of the worst knives I've ever seen. But as you can see, the pivot unscrews and you can actually take the blade off. By taking the blade off, I make it TSA compliant. And this also works as a battery bank. It has, um, a USB port right there where you can charge your stuff. And then when you're in an airport or an airplane, you can never have too many battery banks. At least if you don't have a really big one. <laughs> you know, I have many small battery banks, but I have the sharper image one right here. And something that I'm very proud of, new to the kit, is this. Um, this uh, Penny. P Penny. I don't know how to say that. But um, this is a flash drive for your iPhone or iPad. You can back up all your photos and videos on this thing. So if you need to clean house, you can keep your um, um, photos on here and get and retrieve them later. I'm hoping to take many photos uh, while I'm in Hawaii, but I might not be in the right frame of mind to do that. And I'm not meaning by being drunk or anything, but you know, you can just get caught up in the moment and forget to take your camera out. And by camera, I mean my new iPhone. <laughs> but, um, 
Anyways, this is something I'm very proud of. 128 gigabytes for around $44. So that seems like a good deal to me. I remember when a 20 gigabyte was like $20, like paying a buck a gigabyte. <laughs> um, but um, this plugs up to the uh, iPhone or iPad and you can back up your stuff. So if I take photos or video on my phone and I run out of space, I can pop them on this uh, flash drive and reference them later or share them later. But I'm very happy and proud of that. I have uh, three battery banks in all. And um, let's see, I'm gonna cut film and we're gonna move to my next section of the back. So that was my tech survival kit, which has the follow me buttas, I know the way. Uh, Ugandan knuckles patch which I get a kick out of this is the inside of my EDC pack and I have a mechanical pencil which is right here don't know the brand of it um, might say right there uh, pin it pinlet have a <coughs> Waterman pen this is a rotobot pen I'm a big fan of Waterman and fine writing tools in, in general, but I can't write so I can't enjoy them to their fullest potential But I do like fine writing tools um, I got a tied to go pen I got a shamog which is going to act as my airplane pillow uh, Maybe wrap it around the seat in my head to keep it from bouncing around thought that would be a good thing to keep I have my um, Nintendo 3DS I only have two games for it I have, obviously, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and I have Smash Brothers. And uh, that's going to be my entertainment while I'm in the airport, but not on the airplane. I got audiobooks for when I'm on the plane to spend my time more productively while I'm on the plane. Um, this is my first aid kit. And um, let's see if I can... I'm going to cut film and open I'm not going to show you everything that's in here, but I basically got... Um, Pain medicine. This is Tylenol, I think. Um, Walgreens brand of pain medicine. I got Benadryl, uh, which is always good to have because it's good for allergies. If you're having some sniffles or um, some allergic reaction, this is an antihistamine. The flip side is that if you need to fall asleep and you can't sleep, this will also help you sleep. So I always keep a bunch of those in my first aid kit because if I'm traveling and I'm having a hard time sleeping, this is my go-to. If I'm having a logic reaction to something, it's also good to have it. It's dual purpose, so it serves multiple purposes. In there, you can kind of see that I have some quick clot, some moleskin, I got some blood sponges. I'm not gonna dig everything out. Got some medical tape, some aloe vera, and um, some safety pins and um, some more ibuprofen and pills right there. I want to cut film. Now we're looking at this pouch. I have in this pouch some wet ones antibacterial wipes. I don't know if they'll do a purpose if you get catch my drift, but um, I usually like a way to clean my hands off. Um, you know, depending on what's going on, maybe the uh, bathroom runs out of soap, uh, or maybe something unexpected happens, it's good to have a way to clean your hands and or whatever other part of your body. Um, I got cold shower. This is basically what, what it says. It's a Duke Cannon cold shower. Wipe down your pits and other areas. Um, you know, if, if you're sweaty, but you're not necessarily like dirty, this is good to have. I have Burt's Bees, um, and I don't know how much of this stuff is actually T uh, T <laughs> TSA or um, what is it called? Uh, TSA approved, but I got some more cold shower, so um, that's in there. Um, but yeah, I have my Schmog for stage kit. Um, and tie to go and pins and i'm probably going to put a pack of beef jerky in here if you're ever ever curious what kind of beef jerky i like i like teriyaki beef jerky or buffalo jerky 
but um, I usually go for the teriyaki and that's probably gonna be my snack and let's see what else is in here you notice something is missing here that's right there's no gun um, I do have um, uh, a bulletproof uh, panel in here but I'm gonna be going on a plane I'm gonna be going in an airport TSA is not gonna allow me to carry a gun or a knife and um, I'm gonna be spending a night in Houston without a gun or knife um, and uh, I do have a knife in my check-in luggage and it's inside my uh, dog live my dive log book uh, it's a h1 Pacific salt uh, for when I'm scuba diving and or in the water and I put it inside my dive book along with my uh, Apollo fins and my dive mask so people know that I plan on getting in the water and that's what that knife is there for is to have a knife with me when I'm underwater in case something scary tries to bite me or I get snagged on something you know that's what the knife's for and um, hopefully the people checking the luggage will not steal it but just wanted to show you there's nothing in here um, but yeah that's my pack my vortex pack and <laughs> that's pretty much my EDC um, you know um, mostly my phone watch and wallet uh, I'm going to be completely defenseless, uh, you know, until I get to Hawaii and I can check my check-in luggage and see if my knife survived the trip. So that's it. I'm Asatsu5, and I'm out.